I was invited by Jaguar to go to Art Basel in Miami, which is something I have always wanted to do. There are two key parts of Art Basel Miami for Jaguar. The first was a gallery exhibit with Wallpaper Magazine called Wallpaper Handmade with Jaguar in Miami, a kind of arty farty title of a gallery show of handmade objects done with artists in conjunction with companies. Because it was art, there were a lot of things I didn't understand, like what was that? But a couple of things I really did like was a set of handmade luggage. There was a picnic basket made out of wood and carbon fiber, which were materials found inside Jaguar, inspired by Jaguar design, really, really cool. And there was this great toolbox of handmade woodworking tools, and right next to it, an outdoor grill. It really did look like a piece of art. But my favorite thing of all was an Armagnac tasting cabinet. Oh my dying word. The second part of JAG's involvement was a drive in brand new 2014 JAG F-Type convertibles from South Beach, our hotel, the Mondrian, to the Keys. And it was 85 degrees and sunny, and that, to me, was the reason I was there. Let's talk about the Mondrian Hotel for a second. This is another in a series of uber hip hotels I've been staying in lately, where I swear this techno music that is in every play you can't hide from it, they ought to be giving you ecstasy with your room key when you check in. And let's talk about the room. Oh my God. It's a big spacious room, but it's really kind of wacky. Like, first of all, when you walk in, there's a kitchen area that is paneled in all these porcelain Delft-like blue and white tiles. And when you look at them closer, they're like beach scenes. It's really weird. When you move into the room a little farther, you come to an orange mirror. No one looks good in an orange mirror, but it's supposed to, quote unquote, evoke the sunset just in case you missed it. When you wake up from your bed and sit up, the first thing you see is a big, giant, disembodied Barbie head with like Miley Cyrus hair and it's totally creepy. The drive was great. Everything I wanted it to be. 85 degrees, blue sky, the Florida Keys. Now, the drive is not exciting because it's straight down. What's exciting is blue skies, 85 degrees, convertible, and the Chica Lodge where we ate outside right up against a sugar sand beach. I was in heaven, I wanted to move there. Turning around and coming back to Miami, not so much fun. The nav system kept readjusting our arrival in Miami Beach as we hit traffic. It finally adjusted it to an hour after our original <laughs> scheduled arrival, so you know, the only good thing about it was we got to see how cool the Jag's taillights look lit up by following another one of our convertibles and the number of people that passed us yelling how great the car looked. The one real, real exciting art thing I got to do was the piston head exhibit of art cars on top of a, a this fantastic parking structure which was designed by a famous Swiss architect firm. The parking structure was as cool as the cars. The cars blew my mind. I was so excited by Piston Head that I felt like I had actually seen Art Basel when I'd missed about, oh, 99% of it because it's sort of the art world's equivalent of Pebble Beach for a first timer. All over the place, multiple events, you have no idea where to go. I think Piston Head was the best thing. And just to finish it off, the wacky part of it all, when I got back to the hotel, I saw a jewel-encrusted ice cream truck full of crazy toys and flashing mouse ears. Maybe this had to do with a rave. Maybe this was rave stuff. I don't know. And I hung out with the band Hearts Revolution inside. I haven't heard their music, but they sure were a lot of fun. And then I had to go home, where it was nine degrees. Am I tan yet?